Brandy's, do you copy? Yes, I'm inside Ferguson's office. Great job. Now Proxima wants you to gather all the intel possible on Supercontinental LTD's executive board. Look for a computer or data terminal, connect yourself to it. Okay. Hmm. Uh. What's the matter? This guy doesn't own a computer. Maybe this? What do you see? What have I never encountered before? I'm sending some images. Holy shit, that's a landline telephone. I heard some underground groups still use them because they're so obsolete we hackers don't have the tools to hack them. And they're right. Don't panic. I'll look for a manual over a manual online and tell you how to proceed. We still got this. Okay. I'll get comfortable then. <laughs> Hello, Sketchbag here, and welcome to Supercontinent Limited. Uh, this is a game made by a uh, Deconstruct team, the developers of Gods Will Be Watching, another uh, retro-style uh, point-and-click RPG sort of like this. Um, game I played a while back, absolutely loved. I may I may do a replay of it on like a stream or something at some point in the future, because it's a game I very much enjoyed. Um, this was made... Uh, they just put it up on Ishio. It's entirely free. It was made as part of a game jam, so they just threw it together in, I think, like, three days or something silly like that. Um, so far, so slick. Uh, am I using it right? According to the manual, yes. The top hole is the earphone, and you're supposed to speak through the lower one. Is this some sort of communications device? Exactly. You have to input an address using the numpad keys, or number keys, on your keyboard. Wait your nine digits and automatically try to connect with that address. Cool. Is that it? Yeah. If you mistake a digit, you can reset the number by pressing backspace on your keyboard. So I'm gonna have to speak with some fellas. Luckily, I've brought with me my VOMOD, with which I can impersonate any voice if I have enough data. I brought Adrian Ferguson's voice installed on it. Why did you brought that? Ah. The developers are Spanish, by the way, so... Span English is a second language, plus... Also... You know... Sudden pressure of game jams. I don't blame them for the occasional grammar slip up here and there. Just in case there were some voice-protected devices. I'm a professional. I like to make my time worth your money. Proxima is very proud of you, Brandis. Brandis? Brandis? I'm not sure. So what number do I call? I've checked the city's central phone system, and there's nothing online. Both Supercontinental LTD landline at addresses. What? More bad news? Tonight, at 2 a.m., our historical landline network will be disconnected permanently due to lack of use. Thank you very much for the last romantic to sending love and hope through this old system, the central phone system. That's in a few hours. This is a one-shot operation against the clock, huh? No problem. Okay, I'll take a look around and see what I can get. Okay. So, let's see here. Uh, looks like a note from Ferguson's secretary. It says, your wife called. I hope you don't for didn't forget the number again. 555-693-030. It may come in handy. Oh. Uh, I'm supposed to be IDing everybody here. Um, I'll be IDing all the members of the. <sighs> what was that number again? I am really bad with phone numbers. I work with phones for a living. I should be better at this. Um, your wife called. I hope we don't forget the number. It was for his knife. His wife. Yeah, his knife. Uh, five five five. Okay. There we go, let's see how this goes. Also, I'm not sure if I'm psychic, or if they just didn't want to animate me picking it up. Like, the animation's quite slick. I do really love their 
their visual style and gods we watch it and how the game that looks very similar to this and it's beautiful. So I understand wanting to put as much work into the general ambiance rather than how to animate and getting up and walking. Hello? Hmm, that's Adrian Ferguson's voice. Looks like this is his home. Phone. I use the VMod to simulate a random voice so I can call him as many times as necessary. I'm calling for the city central phone system. Makes sense. I'll let him know. I have the ostensible purpose of saying, "Hey, just so you're aware, we're we're stopping this." Um, oh yeah, what's the matter? As you know, service will be discontinued in a few hours. We're offering free of charge service to retrieve all the obsolete equipment. I would have to speak with to get a directory of supercontinents into just all the landlines. Don't worry about it, we'll handle our own equipment, thank you. Wait, but... Click. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. What's this? Best CFO 2101. Looks heavy, this can really hurt someone. I've thrown it at a high speed. Okay, that was a weird thought. Okay, if I need to, uh, straight up murder a dude. Book there. What's this? A calendar from Supercontinent Limited. Uh, technical Office for VIP, VIP clients. Uh, 464032. Okay, I can take this. Call oh, Supercontinent Limited Technical Office. Please clarify. Pronounce your client's security word. <laughs> At pin 1, 2, 3, 4. The key to things is their data to tell a good day. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's a phone directory. Oh my god, if I just clicked on this, problem solved. Or all the pages have been torn off. Okay. Never mind. I jumped the gun. Is there anything else here I can click on? That looks like a number right there. Five 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 nine nine seven three three one. So that's nine nine seven three three one. Okay. Let's see what that is. Well, well, what? Uh, I thought you were a different person. This line's out of order. Goodbye. <laughs> out of order. It's an unknown girl. Okay, I wouldn't have known that was a girl. Mm. Okay. Vega, you need anything? Any ideas? Uh, damn, Brandis, we're the ones who are required to just wrote that out. Keep in mind that having new information may open a new path in a conversation you've already tried. Be like a good salesman, be persistent. Also remember that I can give you Intel backup. If you have any if you don't anyone, I can look it up online. Need anything? Uh, say any ideas, I... It's not letting me close out of this menu. Bit awkward. Any ideas? Damn branch for the ones who hired you to sort that out. Keep in mind that... No, that's literally what you just said. Now I'm calling as Ferguson, okay. So I will actually call that unknown girl again. 997-331. Well, I meant to look up if 555 is an actual area code. Like, I think it's for... I don't think it actually is, but it could be for... You decided? Decided on what? Don't <laughs> a fool, your wife is done for, Ferguson. His wife is kidnapped. Uh, why are you doing this? That's a good question. I swear, I swear to you, I've loved Supergun's cause. You plan, you plan on supporting that cause if, even if you're after my head. But simply, I cannot let CSJ happen today. It has to be postponed. Operation CSJ. 
So I can't just ask what CSJ stands for, because I'm supposed to know. I gotta be a convincing liar here. Is he postponed? Not abort. Exactly. I'm all for Super Condom's cause, but CSJ can't happen tonight. Why? I have family inside the police department. I want to make sure I can keep them safe before it all begins, but you won't listen. I'm sorry, but this is bigger than us. Who are you? Come again? Are you in shock? Forgive me, but we executives have a hard time remembering non-executive people. Oh, man. I know I got my life hostage, buddy, but I completely forget your name here. I'm Barbara, one of Supercontinent's enforcers. Barbara who? Listen, I don't care for your incompetence. Do as I said, I kissed your wife goodbye. Okay, cool, cool. Probably shouldn't be calling his host as him. Uh, 693. I think for local calls, I wouldn't have to dial that area code. But no, no. Hello? That's Adrian for. Yeah. Yeah, it's his own phone. So, random voice. Fishing. Yeah, I'm calling for Supercon and LTD. For security reasons, we're updating clients' passwords. Is that true? And who am I speaking with? This is Lucas Leipzig. Started as, I, as IT at a couple weeks ago, sir. Nice. Listen, Lucas, if you're truly working for us, consider you fired for trying to steal my password. Ha ha ha. It's okay, sir. This is a test. We're checking if our company members have been well instructed. I guess you passed. Have a good night. Okay. Clever, clever. Nothing else I can click on here, I don't think. I'll call Vega. Uh, what info can you find on Barbara? You're supposed to be an Enforcer and Supercontinent. Okay, let me check. Barbara Lang, 26, Enforcer Supercontinent, as you said. She's been working there for three years, ascended quickly up the ranks, the police department has an extensive file on her, and wow. She's related to the Chief of the Homicide Division. She's her daughter. She's working for a criminal corporation, huh? In any case, you can find some medical data on her. That way I'll be able to impersonate her with a VOMOD. On it. Transmitting data. Fantastic, thank you so much. You need anything? No. Alright, so now... If I take Barbara's number, Barbara's voice, and call Adrian...